your first trimester prenatal cardio workout. So while this is designed for first trimester and I am currently in my first trimester, it is also suitable for your second and third trimesters as well. The only thing I ask is that you please make sure that you have been cleared by a doctor for exercise during pregnancy and that you monitor your heart rate. So a good way to think of it is if on a scale of one to 10, 10 being the highest, you wanna keep your heart rate maybe around a six or a seven. Maybe you're a little bit out of breath, but you're recovering quickly and you can still hold a conversation. As always, listen to your body, take breaks if you need to. We're just here to get moving and feel good. Are you ready? Let's do it. Okay, so we're gonna start just marching and we'll just do some rolls through our shoulders. We're just gonna get our muscles warm, get everything moving. Warm up is so important in all of our workouts, but especially during pregnancy, we wanna really make sure that we are ready to move. And then let's just take some small little steps side to side. So during the warm up, we're gonna talk a little bit about the workout, but we're gonna start talking about working out in your first trimester. So the thing about the first trimester, at least for the first few weeks of it, you may not even know you're pregnant, so you're probably carrying on doing what you've been doing. If you have been working out regularly, it's totally fine to keep doing the workouts that you're doing, whether that's videos on my channel, or in the gym, or running, totally fine to keep that up. Just listen to your body, and again, you do wanna lower your intensity level just a bit. So like I talked about in the intro, let's bring our knees up. If you think of a scale of one to 10, 10 being your heart rate being the highest, definitely don't, don't get there. We wanna keep it about a six or a seven. Let's do little hamstring curls to the back. So again, maybe you get a little out of breath, but you can still carry on a conversation. The other things is just listen to your body. The thing about the first trimester, it's often when we feel the worst. You're super tired. A lot of us get morning sickness and nausea. So listen to your body, rest, hydrate, make sure you're eating well if you can. Let's just do little rotations, reach across, but also know that moving generally helps. So I was one of the unlucky ones in my first pregnancy, hoping it's not the same with this. Let's reach over where I had nausea and morning sickness my entire nine months. That's not normal, so don't worry, it's probably not you. But because I was teaching classes and I was making videos, I never wanted to work out, but every time I did, I felt better. And it was about the only time I felt better. So just know getting moving helps. Something light like this, not too intense, or a brisk walk, but also listen to your body and rest as needed. So other than that, not too many guidelines for the first trimester, just listen to your body. I'm gonna sound like a broken record. I'll say it a million times. Let's do some little rolls through our back and monitor your intensity level. So in this workout, we are gonna do eight moves. We're gonna go 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest. In those 20 seconds, let's just roll through our backs a little bit side to side. In those 20 seconds, march it out, jog it out. I'm gonna give you some options, some that are a little higher intensity if you're used to working out, some that keep it a little lower, maybe if you're new to this. Go ahead and walk your feet in, round it up. And in those 20 seconds, I'll be explaining your next move. So we'll go through all the moves once, we'll get a one minute break, where we'll just be tapping it out and moving like this, and then we'll go through everything again. Okay. So your very first move, very simple. We're just gonna keep it with a little march or you can take it to high knees. I'm gonna give you some options within that. Again, if you're used to some higher intensity, I'll give you some options, but by all means, keep it lower if you can. So just tap it out for just a few more seconds. Roll it out, we'll wait for our timer. Little stretches here. And starting out with a march, or high knees, giving you some options there. <sighs> Starting in four, three, two, here we go. So you're either marching, and I think march at a pretty good pace if you can, arms and legs both moving, and if you want, you can really bring them up here, but again, it's up to you, see how you feel. Probably for a lot of you too, especially if it's your first trimester, you may not be showing yet, if it's, if it's your, not if it's your first trimester, if it's your first child, 
you may not even be showing. For me, I'm about 12 weeks along, and I can already tell because this is my second. We tend to show a little bit faster. Either way, doesn't matter. Just if you're popped a little bit more, you may want to bring those knees a little lower. If you want to take them up to a little high knee jog, that's okay too if your body is used to this. Don't push it and relax, tap it out. That got my heart rate. <laughs> Just those few seconds. All right, our next move, we're gonna step it into a side lunge, reach it through, side lunge, reach it through. So breathe, and here we go. Sit deep into that hip, reach at the top, so you have a straight leg here, bent leg here, and reach. You don't have to touch all the way down. If you can, you'll just get a little more of a stretch out of it, but it's up to you. You can keep it here and just reach. If you want a higher intensity, you can add a little shuffle through it. It's up to you. I'm finding, especially with this second pregnancy, but even in my first five seconds, that my heart rate gets up a lot faster these days. Tap it out for 20 seconds. So even something like that, just in a few seconds of it, really gets it up. So I'm gonna be a little more careful, but listen to your body, you might be totally fine. So this next move, your first option is just to touch down, little stretch through your back and all the way up. You can keep it here or you can walk it all the way out. So start here with me, big reach, touch down, and reach so really important because obviously all of our weight is growing in the front as we get further along so we're stretching through those hamstrings and strengthening our back if you want to take it up a little bit you can walk it out to that plank position walk it back reach it up totally up to you you can do either one we only have 10 seconds that will just help strengthen your core a little bit more this first trimester really is the time. Reach it up, tap it out. To strengthen the core in the non-traditional ways. Eventually we're gonna give up everything on our back, second and third trimesters, but those planks are still okay. Things to really strengthen all the way through as we're growing. Our next move, we're just gonna tap behind, reach, tap behind, reach. So start here, low impact. And then if you want, it's that speed skater move. So you can do a little tap, tap. Hands can go up, hands can stay down. It's up to you. So just keep it low impact if you want, or a little bit more of a jump, side to side. Keep breathing. Tap, tap. 10 seconds to go. Four, three, two, and one, tap it out. Whew, how are we feeling? Hopefully you're feeling okay. As always, you can always hit pause and take a break. We've got one coming, we're about halfway through. So this, we're gonna do one side right, one side left. One foot forward, we're just gonna do a little knee up runs. So to get this leg working, get the core engaged, start small, you're just going here to here, and then if you're feeling good about it, if your body's a little more used to exercise, you can take it on a little more of a lunge, or you can just take it quicker. You can feel that leg's gonna get a little extra bonus burn. We like that. It's gonna be a long 40 seconds, but then we'll get that other side. So lots of options. Slow and small, quick ones here, or lunge it down, bring it up. If you're feeling really good, you could even add a little jump at the top again if your body is used to those high impact moves. Tap it out. Little burn, right? Press into that heel and you'll strengthen those glute muscles as well, which are really important in general, but in pregnancy. So catch your breath, turn to that other side, other leg working, start it small, tap it back, bring the knee up. And again, knee is coming up as comfortable as it is for you. Start here, you can keep it slow, you can take it a little quicker if you want. Drop it down in the lunge if you want. You pick your option, just do what's best for you. The other thing about pregnancy, guys, 
is that every day might be a little bit different. I have some days that I feel great and I'm working out and I feel like I have lots of energy. Other days that I really can't do it and it's all I can do just to get moving. That's okay. This is the time to really just roll with it, breathe, tap it out, and make it your goal just to move. We don't have big strength goals or obviously weight loss goals or fitness goals. Our goal is to stay healthy ourselves and deliver a healthy baby. Okay, so back it up. Make sure you have a little bit of space. We're just gonna walk up for four, knee, walk back for four, knee. Starting nice and slow. I'm gonna do a little circle of my arms just cause that'll get the heart pumping a little more. If you feel too much, you can just keep it lower here. You can even add a little jump. You want a little higher impact. Just make sure you're aware of your surroundings. Maybe you have weights behind you like me. You can keep it small or if you've got a little more space, really use the space. Take it up and back and relax. Tap. One more move, then we're gonna get a one minute break and go through everything again. So our last move, toes are out, this plie squat or sumo squat. You'll see this in a lot of prenatal workouts because it's really important, helps us get ready for delivery and to support our hips and our core and legs to support our growing belly. So we're gonna take it here, side knee, plie, side knee. If your heart is pumping too much, and you wanna just keep it down, you can just bring the knee up. If you want a little extra, take those hands behind your head, little legs, and a little bit of core through the sides. Breathe. 10 seconds, and then we've got that break. Try to keep your feet moving on the break if you can. And then you know the moves. Next time we come back to them, they'll go fast. I promise. Tap it out. Grab a sip of water, please, if you haven't already, even if you have. Super important to stay hydrated in any workout and in general, but especially in pregnancy. As you know, we need extra fluid to support that baby. And this is why eventually we need more calories in our second and third trimesters. So the baby is taking a lot of the nutrients and taking in everything we're taking in. So really important to make sure you're getting water. So we have about a little more than 30 more seconds. Keep moving. If you're feeling good and you want to take it to a little jog. Again, if you're used to a little higher intensity cardio, totally fine if you're feeling okay to keep it up. If you need more of a break, just tap. You can even sit. We got about 20 seconds to go, and we're starting with that very basic march or high knees. Breathe. Whew. Right? So, starting with the march, you can just march it here. Try to get the arms moving if you can, or if you want to take it up here, join me now. Here we go. Marching. You want to bring those knees up. That's okay too. And even if you're used to higher intensity, if you want to take it here, totally fine. You do what's best for you. We're all different and all of our pregnancies are different too, right? It's not necessarily about how good of shape you were in or if you're an athlete or not, or if you've been working out, everybody's pregnancy is a little bit different. 10 seconds, just keep moving. Then we get a little break. Three, two, tap it out, 20 seconds. Next move is that side lunge, reach through. So remember, we're gonna lean into that hip, reach it to the top, touch if you can, reach it to the top, strengthening those hips, keeping the heart pumping. In three, two, side lunge, here we go. Down, reach and reach. You can keep it low impact here. If you want to take it up a notch, do a little shuffle through. Shuffle. And reach. Down. Reach. Up. About 
15 seconds. Working our way through these moves one more time. Four, three, two, one. Tap it out. Whoo! Next move is that reach down, a little bit of a deadlift to strengthen the back, get that little stretch, or walk it all the way out, all the way back into that plank, strengthening the core. It's totally up to you. Let's all start here, reach it down, reach it up, start here. You can keep this the whole time, getting that stretch, working the legs, or walk it out to that plank, strong core, walk it back, walk it up. If you are doing this workout and you happen to be in your second or third trimester, I would just keep the reach down, especially if you're in that third. We want to avoid those planks just to avoid that downward pressure that could create more ab separation or diastasis recti. So you're in your third, keep it there. Last one and bring it back and tap it out again. This workout is for first trimester, but totally fine to do this in your second and third as well. Okay, so we're gonna do that little tap behind, reach through, tap behind. Again, we're moving laterally in that transverse plane, we're working our hips, outer thighs, and moving in different planes of motion is always good. With pregnancy sometimes, our balance can be a little off, so you want to be pretty careful, especially as you get bigger in the front. First trimester, we're usually okay, but once you start growing, be super careful on any balance move. It's up to you if you want to make it even more of that speed skater, a little quicker or a low impact. Keep it here. Five seconds to go. Three two, one, and tap. We're halfway through that eight, almost there. So we're gonna take it to those little step ups or run ups or knee ups, one foot forward, one foot back. Remember, you can keep it nice and slow. You can take it quick. You can drop it in a lunge, right side. Here we go. Arms are moving, knee is moving. And again, that knee doesn't have to come super high. It can. You can take a little jump with it. You can get low in a lunge if you want a little extra legs. Lots of options, or you can keep it nice and slow. Just bringing that knee forward is gonna engage the core, whether that's here or here. Doesn't matter, you're still gonna strengthen legs, hips, and that core. And your glutes, obviously you're feeling that leg press into that heel. Four, three, Two, one. I love that one because you don't have to go deep in the lunge to really feel it in the leg. So we'll get the same thing, other side, taking it forward, abs in tight, tapping it back, bring the knee up. You can start slow, you can take it fast, you can take it in the lunge. Here we go. We're in the home stretch here. After this, we only have two more moves. So they'll go fast. Remember, if you want more legs, low to high. If you want more cardio and you feel comfortable adding that little jump, that's okay too. Breathe. Abs are pulled in, core is tight. Breathe. Four, three, two, Relax, shake those legs out, feel that good little burn. Okay, second to last move. We're gonna march it up with the knee, march it back with the knee. Watch your spacing, but if you have enough space, really get forward, really get back. You can jump it if you want. Here we go. One, two, three, up. I'm gonna do a little circle of the arms to get a little extra cardio. You don't have to go the same pace as me. You can go slower or faster, wherever you are. Add that little jump if you need a little extra. I think sometimes we have to be okay if we're used to a lot of hit training 
or just general high intensity cardio, we have to know that during pregnancy, even if we can do it, doesn't necessarily mean that we should or that we need to tap it out. Our bodies are gonna feel good and stay strong just by moving. So it's a good thing to remember if you're used to a lot of hard, hard stuff, but it's okay, cut yourself a break. Again, this is not the time for big fitness goals. This is the time for healthy baby, healthy mom. Last move, plie, side knee. Join me here. Let's finish strong, get low, pull it to the side, squeeze, breathe, bring it up. If you want even more, you can add a little jump at the top. It's up to you. Breathe. Down and up. Up. There we go. Four. Three. Two. Last one. Finish strong. Tap it out for those 20 seconds and then we'll get a cool down. You did it. Great job, mama. I'm feeling it. I hope you are too. You worked hard. You made it. Grab a sip of water and make sure after this workout that you get some water and probably some food as well. So roll through those shoulders. Nice and easy, you can just keep tapping. front, in through the nose, out through the mouth, and just do little heels to the front, breathe, and tap behind, just bringing that heart rate down, get a nice easy stretch, and breathe, let's put one foot forward, Sit back into the hips, hands on both legs. Reach towards the toe if you can. Little hamstring and calf stretch. Pull your toe towards you. Breathe into that. And you can always check out my prenatal stretch video. It's quick, gives you some specific stretches that are great for our growing bodies. Other side, hips back. Lean into it. Often we get some back soreness because our weight is pulling us forward. And upper back, because so everything is coming here. So really good. Speaking of, open it up, push those thumbs to the back. Even though we didn't do a lot of specific upper body, our upper body was working. And again, stretching is always good. Post-workout and beyond. And let's just take those knees out wide. Just gentle stretch through the inner thighs and just do little twist through the back. Not very much, just enough. Breathe. Walk it in. Round it up through your back. Reach to the top. Big deep breath in and out. And that was your first trimester prenatal cardio workout. Great job, everybody. Hi to all the viewers out there. I am giving away free ebook for the first 10,000 subscribers. Click the website below to get your free ebook. Please make sure to like this video subscribe my channel. Thank you!